This animation has been created for siblings of children with additional needs and it would be great for mums or dads to watch along all together and talk through afterwards. Dear you, hello, we're writing this to you as a brother or sister of someone who has a disability or additional needs. We will say additional needs in this letter. We have listened to lots of children who have a brother or sister with additional needs. We thought it is really important that we write to you and tell you a little bit about what's happening for others as it may also be happening for you. And to give you some top tips which can help. Since we found out about the coronavirus being in Britain, you've probably not been going to school and had to stay at home for quite a long time. You've probably been missing going to your friends and doing things that you were used to doing. You would also have had to do schoolwork at home if you were not at school. Some of what you might have been doing at home could have been fun and you might have made some lovely memories. Other times, you might have felt a bit stressed or irritated. All of this is normal, so that's the first part of this letter. You also have a brother or a sister who has additional needs. Sometimes they may need extra help. Sometimes they may need things done differently at home because of their additional needs. Sometimes their behaviour may be different to yours. Sometimes it might just be quite stressful. Sometimes maybe your mum and dad can't spend the day with you. Or sometimes everyone might just be exhausted. Sometimes there might be really fun days and you all enjoy having time together and have a good laugh. But what we heard is that some siblings, that's children like you, can find it tough being at home all day with their brother or sister who has those additional needs. This doesn't mean that brothers and sisters don't love each other or anything bad. It is just a fact that sometimes it can be tiring to have a brother or sister who has additional needs. That can be very normal and that's okay. Sometimes it is helpful to know you are not alone in the good times and in the tough times. There are a lot of children like you who have brothers or sisters who have additional needs and who are going through good days and not so good days. This has not always got to do anything with their brothers or sisters, but sometimes it could do. So an important thing to tell you is that we think you are amazing. You may not always feel amazing, but it's really important to remember some of the good things you have done or had happened in the last few months. We're sure that your mum or dad sometimes feel guilty about not always being able to spend as much time with you. We also do not want you feeling stressed or upset. Being in a family is like being in a team where everyone is really important and they work together. We also thought it might be helpful to think of ways to help you when you are feeling not so good. Sometimes when things are tiring or stressful, it can be hard to remember how to understand what you are feeling or what you want. If you're feeling super stressed, the first thing to do is realise this. Sometimes, if we have a lot of feelings, it can make us feel all blocked up, a bit like a drain. So a good way to help yourself is to notice how you are feeling and get some of the feelings out, perhaps by talking, writing or doing some exercise. This can help unblock the drain and you will feel better. Here are some other quick tips for you. Find a space in the house where you can just relax, chill out, and let people know that you just need some space. Talk to mum or dad about what you might need or if you have any questions or worries. Ask mum or dad if you can have some time in the day or week that is just for you and them. Have fun. Find ways to have fun. That might be with mum or dad or your brother or sister, whatever is fun. Just be in the moment and enjoy it. Fun and laughter are amazing ways to make you feel really good quickly. Celebrate and notice good things. Find activities that you can do that you enjoy. Here are some top tips for parents. Find some time that we can do an activity together or just spending you and me time. Maybe leave a small note in the home or with my things. Things like that you are proud of me or thank you for helping me. Spend some quality family time with me and maybe learn about something I really enjoy, like music or a game. Spending time with me can really help me open up and feel listened to. Reward the positives. A magazine when I've helped you out, being allowed to stay up for a movie night. Small things can really go a long way sometimes. Help me understand and know more about my brothers or sisters' additional needs and how it can affect them and their behaviours. Give me opportunities to ask questions about the conditions and give me facts. If you role model behaviour 
around my brother and sister, it can help me know what to do when I am with them. So those are some top tips and we hope that you find them helpful. We want you to know that you are not alone, that you are important to your family and that being a part of your family where a brother or sister has additional needs can sometimes feel tough. They are lucky to have you as part of their lives and you are lucky to have them all as part of a family team living together and looking out for each other. We hope that the next stage for you and your family this year will be good and you will find ways to have fun and make good memories. Take, Take care, care, keep safe and well, well from, from all, all of us. us.